In this video, a derivation of the integral form of the continuity equation will be given. We have basically two different uh, approaches here. One will yield the conservation form and the other will yield a non-conservation form. In this video, the conservation form will be given. Uh, it's of particular interest because uh, the finite volume method, which is one of the largest uh, numerical methods to solve partial differential equations, is based on this conservation form. We begin by stating uh, the physical principle which is mass is conserved. Uh, in this case it means that the accumulation of mass in a volume element equals the net flow of mass into the volume element. I've drawn here a triangle uh, volume element and we can see that the flow is going through the volume element which means that the volume element is fixed in space. Uh, the triangular shape could be uh, changed to an arbitrary shape, so we're not limited to triangular shapes for this derivation. The accumulation of mass in the volume element. Remember now that uh, we have a fluid, uh, and the easiest way to find the mass of a fluid is to uh, take the fluid density and multiply that by the volume that the fluid is occupying. Uh, in order to find this volume on the arbitrary shape that we have, uh, we just integrate over the volume. And the accumulation of mass in the volume element is simply given by the time rate of change of the mass. So we can write partial, partial t in front of this integral expression. So this is the accumulation of mass in the volume element. To uh, find the net flow of mass into the fluid element, we start by um, just giving the expression for mass flow, which is the fluid density times the fluid velocity times uh, the surface area through which the fluid flows. And to find uh, the component here that goes into the fluid element, we could multiply this by the surface normal. So here, the normal is connected as to uh, the surface. Um, it's common practice to define the surface normals here as pointing outwards from the volume element. This means that, for instance, if we have flow coming in here on the left side, we see that uh, the velocity vector here is uh, well, in the x-direction is positive, uh, and the, the normal component in the x-direction is negative. So um, this expression would actually be negative. But we're interested in the net flow of mass into the volume element, uh, and that should correspond also to um, the accumulation of mass in the volume element, which is a positive quantity. Therefore, uh, a negative sign here would indicate an inflow into the volume element, while a pos positive sign would indicate an outflow. Okay, so to find the cross-sectional area, we write an integral expression where we integrate this uh, density and velocity vector and normal vector over entire surface area. So even though the triangle is a two-dimensional representation, remember that the finite volume is actually three-dimensional even though the c-direction here is unity. Going back to the physical principle, now we have two expressions. One for the accumulation of mass in the volume element, which was given by the partial derivative with respect to time of the volume integral. And that would be equal to the surface integral of the density times the velocity vector times the normal vector of the surface. And we put a negative sign here to indicate that this is the net flow of mass in two volume element. So this expression is the integral form 
of the continuity equation in conservation form.